Hello, this is Dr. Eric Edu with the Department of Anatomy and Cell Biology. I welcome you to this brief session. We want to look at basic anatomy for game access course. Um, this is a, a content I prepared for the 2024-2025 academic year. So these will be the organ systems we are going to look at. Circulatory system respiratory system and as you know circulatory and respiratory are linked in a way as we will see then digestive system urinary system nervous system muscular system and skeletal system so we are actually going to look at one two three four five six and seven systems so reproductive, urinary, cardiovascular, digestive, respiratory, nervous, and musculoskeletal. What are we going to look at when we take each of them? For reproductive, we will take care of the basic embryology, how the male and female gametes meet to become a fertilized, you know, unit, a zygote, which um, actually continuous is journey so we are looking at fertilization basically and how the male and female gametes are formed which is known as gametogenesis so in gametogenesis we'll be looking at the spermatogenesis which deals with the male line and the oogenesis which deals with the female line okay then urinary system we'll be looking at the kidney the bladder and the ureter then cardiovascular, we look at the heart and the related blood vessels. Then we look at systemic circulation as well as the pulmonary circulation. For digestive, we start with the oral cavity, look at the teeth and tongue, some salivary glands as well, and then the general architecture of the gastrointestinal tract. So all the way from the esophagus to the anus. We look at that respiratory, we look at the pharynx, larynx, obviously lungs, inhalation and exhalation, and how it also relates to the circulatory system or the cardiovascular system. Then the nervous system, we look at neurons or nerve cells. They are types, whether they are multipolar, bipolar, pseudo-unipolar, the parts of the neuron or nerve cell are the axons, dendrites, myelin sheet. We also look at the uh, spinal cord in brief, okay, so the central nervous system. Then we also look at the, the other aspects of the central nervous system, uh, i.e. looking at uh, parasympathetics and then sympathetics and how they work, okay. So we will we'll consider all those. The musculoskeletal, we look at the osteology, that's the bone framework of the human skeleton, muscles and their types, and then the joints as well. So as part of introduction, we say that basic anatomy of the human body involves understanding the structure and organization of body systems, organs, tissues, cavities, joints, bones and blood vessels, as well as the nerves. So what is anatomy? Anatomy is the science that deals mainly with the structures of the human body. And this uh, word anatomy comes from a Greek word, which means to cut up or to dissect. Okay, so if you look at this uh, image, you see that there's a saw that is cutting a log. And this is an axe that is also cutting a log. So cutting or cutting up is anatomy, okay? And it's also known as dissect. So body systems consist of various organs that have similar or related functions. Body systems consist of various organs, okay? So the organs which are related and serve a particular purpose or similar purpose, come together like a communal labor to form body systems. Example is the digestive system. So in the digestive system, you have uh, organs like the liver, okay, 
the gallbladder, the intestines, we talk of even the oral cavity with their organs there, all of them helping, okay, the tongue, the teeth, all helping to achieve, you know, digestion, all right. So these um, organs come together to achieve a particular purpose. In certain organs, however, uh, there can be some organs that will serve two main systems. For instance, the pancreas, it functions as both endocrine and also as a digestive, you know, um, contributor, all right? How about the pharynx? The pharynx also uh, works for two systems. What are they? I'll give you one clue. One is the respiratory system. The other will be what? So think about it. But you should be thinking about one of the seven systems we have covered. Which other ones do you also know? You can list them out. So here you have the heart and the blood vessels, as the thyroid gland, that is the brain, and then that is the stomach, that is pancreas, kidney, all these are organs, okay? So for the digestive system, we are going to look at this region, okay? You can see that's the liver with its division there, that is the stomach. These are the small intestines, that is the ascending colon, transverse colon, and then descending colon. There are divisions among them as we will see in details. So what are the functions of the digestive system? So we look at the function of the esophagus, the stomach, small intestines, large intestines, rectum and inner canal. So that's the liver, that's the gallbladder in green, the stomach, the duodenum first portion of the small intestine, which continues as the jejunum, and then the ileum. Okay, so then that is the ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, a zygmoid colon that looks like the letter S, and have the rectum and then anus. In the oral cavity, you will see structures like the teeth, and then the tongue, and then obviously the soft palate, and then the hard palate. Okay, then some palatine tonsils as well. So this region, okay, bordering the lip and then the teeth, is the area outside the teeth known as the vestibule. Okay, then you also have the oral cavity proper that would be you know, inwards from the teeth, okay, the region housed by the teeth will be the oral cavity proper. Then the region outside will be the vestibule. So you have the gingivae, like the gums, and then also this structure, uvula, that divides the cavity here into a left and right, more or less, okay? And then, like I said, the soft palate and then the hard palate. We are not going to talk about all these uh, arches that much. Then, of important note is the salivary duct orifice, which are the place where the salivary glands open with their duct. So, sublingua, submandibular. There's another one known as the parotid gland. So, how many teeth does an adult human have in all? This is a question somebody was asked at a medical school interview, and the person said it's 42. So please note. So this will be the upper jaw. This one is the upper jaw, and that will be the lower jaw. Okay, so the maxilla with the teeth, and the mandible also with the teeth. We should be able to tell the type of teeth and where they are positioned. So the front portion ones, the central incisor, as you can see, then you have the, the lateral incisor that is on the left side. Here is on the right. Then you have the canine. Then you have the first premolars, second premolars, third premolars, then second molars, and then third molars. You should be able to count the teeth and how many you have in each jaw. Very important. 
So when it comes to the tongue, it's a very peculiar structure. On it, you have these papillae. Okay, some of which will contain taste buds, as has been indicated here. So these papillae make the tongue surface rough. So we have these types, about four of them have been indicated here. That's the filiform papillae, which is pointed at the edge. Valate papillae, which looks like the letter V. Uh, fungiform papillae, looks like the fungus or mushroom. And then folate papillae, looks like the pores of a leaf or flower. So the tongue can be divided into two main regions using this, you know, landmark or reference known as the sulcus terminalis. So that will divide the tongue into a front portion and then a backward portion. So anterior and then what? Posterior. Okay. So anterior, you can see that anterior is large relative to the posterior. So when we divide the tongue into three equal parts, we end up having two thirds of it being anterior and one third being posterior. So we say that the nerve that innervates the anterior two thirds is the cranial nerve seven, which is the facial nerve. The posterior one third is innervated by the cranial nerve nine, which is the glossopharyngeal. We are talking of taste. Okay. Then the muscles of the tongue are innervated by the cranial nerve 12, known as the hypoglossal nerve. The gut can be divided into three main regions. You have the foregut, midgut, and then the hindgut. Right. So these are some of the foregut structures. Okay, so esophagus, liver, stomach, and the first part of the duodenum. Then the midgut, second part of the duodenum will take care of that. The rest of the intestines. Okay, up to this portion. That is the ascending part of the colon or the large intestine, then the hindgut, transverse, and then descending zygmoid and rectum. So as you can see, the, the gut is a, a whole tube that starts from the esophagus all the way down to the rectum. That's the liver, stomach, small intestines, large intestines, i.e. ascending, transverse, descending, zygmoid colon, the then the stomach is joined to the esophagus, okay, superiorly. And the stomach also has parts. So we have the cardiac notch here, the cardia. Then we have the fundus, the body, the pyloric antrum, pyloric canal, and the first part of the duodenum is here. So we have the greater curvature there, and then lesser curvature there. There's a reason why these curvatures are like that one is larger than the other embryology will take care of that then if you take the whole small intestine it is as large as a tennis court okay so if your intestine the small ones are extended from one end to the other it's going to cover this whole length of the tennis court and that is quite amazing now the large intestine the cecum Okay, ascending colon, that is the ileum, which will join the large intestine. And that is the transverse colon, because it looks transverse. This is ascending because it is going up superiorly, okay, as, as if it is climbing. So it is ascending colon, transverse colon, because it is straight. And this one is going down, so descending colon. And that's zygmoid colon, rectum, and then anus. So thank you for listening to this. We will move on with the other uh, systems in other videos. Thank you and I hope this video helps.